mikono ya yule muovu amina god will break the arm of the wicked atakunja mkono ya yule muovu who attack his children amaya anashambulia watoto wake it's true isn't it ni kweli si ndivyo it's true ni kweli hallelujah marie stops let me tell you about her acha nikuulize nikwambie kuhusu marie stops i told you about my friend paul hill There's a woman called Marie Stokes. And she runs a clinic here in Nakuru. In fact, she died many years ago. But the clinics which are all across Africa. Are still being named after this woman Marie Stokes. Now don't take my word for it. But you can read about it at the library, you can go to the internet. Marie Stopes is an institution that presents itself as doing good things for women. They do many good things for women. But they have another agenda. Lakini wana mambo mengine ya kando. Marie Stopes was a woman who hated black people. Marie Stop alikuwa ni mwanamke ambaye alichukia wanawake weusi. She was a racist. Yeye alikuwa kwa ni ni mkabila. She was a eugenicist. Yeye alikuwa kwa ni muuaji. A eugenicist is someone who believes that some races of people are low and inferior and some are superior. Oh, hiyo ina huyo ina maanisha ya kwamba yeye anaamini kuna kuna kabila zingine ni ni duni sana na zingine ni za juu sana. And it was the desire of her heart that there would be few black people. Na ilikuwa ni tamanio ya moyo wake ya kwamba utakuwa na walio weusi wachache. Satan put it into her heart. Shetani aliweka moyoni mwake hivyo. And she founded this organization called Marie Stokes. Na yeye akaanza hii kundi ambayo inaitwa Marie Stokes. And one of the ways that they eliminate black people ya kuwaondosha na kuwapunguza watu weusi is through abortion ilikuwa kupitia kutoa mimba so it's much better to eliminate the child before the child has ever been born unajua ni vizuri kumuondoa mtoto kabla azaliwe if someone hates you ikiwa mtu anakutukia it's much better for them to wipe you away ni vizuri wa kuondoshe before you even born kabla hata uzaliwe and how much better na imezidi haje vyema if they can deceive you ikiwa wanaweza kukudanganya wewe killing your own child wewe upate kuwa mtoto wako mwenyewe you see what a great victory for your enemy sio ni ushindi kuu kwa adui yako what better if you had an enemy what better victory je kama una adui ni ushindi gani iliyo bora zaidi Then to tell him a lie isipo kama utamwambia uongo and cause a madness to come into his mind na usababishe yeye awe na uongo aamini katika mawazo yake to even kill his own child hadi akauwe mtoto wake mwenyewe could you do anything worse to your enemy je unaweza kufanya gani vibaya kwa adui yako isipokuwa hiyo then to cause him to kill his own child wewe kumsababisha awe mtoto wake mwenyewe that is why the wicked people like marie stops have opened clinics all over africa Even though technically in Kenya it's still against the law. Ingawaje hata hapa Kenya ni kinyume na sheria kwa mtoto. We have even caught them boasting even though it is against the law. Na tumewapata wakijivuna ingawaje ni kinyume na sheria. We have caught the director of Marie Stopes in Kenya boasting about abortion. Tumepata yule ambaye anasimamia hiyo Marie Stopes anajivuna He says and I'm paraphrasing him. He says Anasema hivi We do abortions in Kenya. Tunafanya kutoa mimba hapa Kenya. Ah, but we just don't report them. Lakini sisi hatuisemi. You see there's no record. Unaona hakuna rekodi yake imeandikwa. There's no record that the person even existed. Hamna rekodi huyu mtu aliyechawahi kuwa hai. You see through the economic pressure from America. Unaona kupitia kufinyika kwa kwa economy kule Marekani. Through the money coming from America and from the United Kingdom. Kupitia pesa ambayo inatoka UK na Marekani. Pressure has been exerted on every nation of the earth. Yaani ile kufinyika imeingia katika taifa yote ulimwenguni. To imitate these wicked deeds. Ikapate kubuni haya mambo machafu. Watch out. Wewe tazama. Look out. Kwa mwangalifu. 
I'm coming as a witness. Remember Paul Hill, Pastor Paul Hill. The police came to get him. He laid down. After defending that child, after killing the baby killer, they took my friend Paul Hill to prison. They, they put him in prison for 10 years. For 10 years. Away from his family. And the day came when the brother of George W. Bush who was the governor of Florida, Governor Jeb Bush, said Paul Hill, today you will die. That was September 3rd. And on September 3rd of the year 2003, they took my friend, Pastor Paul Hill, and they tied his arms down. And they tied down his legs. And they strapped his waist. And they went into his veins right here with a needle. And the brother of George W. Bush, the brother of the President of the United States of America, murdered my brave friend, Reverend Paul Hill. The people of the United States of America executed this hero. This man did nothing but defend the most defenseless people. This brave man defended the babies being killed by abortion. Now, I don't know about you, but if I was going to be torn apart, to have my arm torn off, and my head cut off, and my legs cut off, and a man stepped in between me and the people who were going to kill me. And he said, you stop! But they wouldn't stop. And that man took and killed those people to stop them. Because there was no other way he could stop them from killing them. Do you understand? What do you do? I would love that man. Wouldn't you? If someone stepped in to defend you, you were being torn apart. Wouldn't you thank God for that man? Wouldn't you bless God for that man? And yet this hero who gave up everything he had to defend little baby boys and girls who couldn't even speak up even to say thank you for defending me and for this great deed of courage of courage he was killed by the United States of America you see a great judgment is coming on this prostitute a great judgment is coming on this prostitute called the USA. A great judgment is coming on this prostitute which calls herself the United Kingdom. A great judgment is coming. And every nation of the earth which follows the ways of the U.S., the ways of the USA and the ways of the United Kingdom, every nation which follows them will perish with her. You see, Kenya must choose. All of Africa must choose. South Africa has chosen already. South Africa has chosen already. I walked just a few weeks ago through the streets of Johannesburg. On every pole in the city of Johannesburg. On every block as you walk through that city, there is a poster, an advertisement for abortion, cheap and safe abortion. You see, South Africa has followed the example 
of the USA. Africa Kusini wamefuata mfano wa Wamarekani. And they benefited from it. Na wamefaidika kutokana na hayo. For a moment. It's Wat just like a prostitute. Ni kama tu kahaba. Imagine a little sister. She looks up at her sister. And her older sister has become a prostitute. And this little girl, she's 12 years old. She says, Wow, my sister is so beautiful. Hi, my sister is 18 years old. And look, she's wearing a beautiful necklace that her boyfriend gave her. Wow, she's got the best makeup. Hi, she always has the, the most beautiful weave. The most expensive hair. My sister has the most expensive dresses. She eats the best food. Hey, let me too be a prostitute. So the 12 year old sister, she turns 13. She takes, she takes the lipstick. She, she dresses as beautiful as she can. She stands on the street and she opens her legs for a man because she wants the beautiful things of her older sister. You know it happens every day. Doesn't it? Doesn't it? Doesn't it? Because a prostitute for a moment gets to enjoy the good things. You see all the men who come to her Give her gifts. I tell you, and the word of God speaks it over and over and over again. When people who know the word of God walk away from God, walk away from their husband, and away from the law of God, it is prostitution. Amen? And for a moment, hallelujah, are you hearing me? For a moment, these people, they benefit from their prostitution. For a moment, they get the things of this earth, the perishable things of this earth. You know, Jesus said in Matthew 5, do not store up your treasure on this earth. Amen? Where moth and rust destroy. Where thieves break in and steal. Amen, but store up your treasure. Where? Where? Heaven. In heaven with God. Amen. With obedience to God. You see that sister, that older sister, who was so beautiful and caused her younger sister to follow in her example being a prostitute. If only she could see, maybe she goes to see an old prostitute. Who, who's ever seen an old prostitute? Serious. 20 years down the road. Her sister is 38 years old. 48 years old. It doesn't look so good, does it? It doesn't look so good. Because maybe she became 19 or 20. And somebody quarreled with her. Because she said, you pay me this much. And he said, no, no, I pay you this much. And she talked back to him. What's he going to do? Right? There goes one tooth. Amen. There goes one tooth. And she's spitting out blood. But she still looks good. Ten years later, she quarrels with another man. Right? Now the nose, the nose is over here. That beautiful nose. Right? Now it's over here. The tooth is, the tooth is gone. So, she's still a prostitute. Half price. Right? You see, if only, I won't go on and on and on. Because you know, God, God died for everyone. I'm not mocking prostitutes. What, what I'm saying is that the, the great nations like the USA, the nations like the United Kingdom, who have wickedly departed the law of God,